What's up guys? Welcome back to the Third Floor Arcade. This is Jason. And today I'm going to take a look at a box I just discovered in my basement today. As I was actually uh, trying to clear some stuff out. I'm trying to make a, uh, a secondary arcade down there just to put some uh, overflow cabinets uh, down there. Kind of make like a little man, a secondary man cave. So um, as I was cleaning stuff out, I just uh, found this box of uh, retro games that I totally forgot I had. Uh, it's probably been, I would say, about 10, 15 years since I've even touched this box. But I um, just wanted to show you guys some of the uh, goodies that I found. So uh, the big thing that really stood out to me, probably my favorite thing in this box, was the uh, Sega Dreamcast, uh, House of the Dead. It also had the uh, Zapper with it. Um, kind of, I looked this up on eBay real quick. I think this is going for about 80 bucks, something like that. Um game still in there the manual definitely an awesome game and uh if you follow the channel you know i'm a huge fan of these arcade one-ups i would love to see arcade one-up do a uh, house of the dead uh cabinet i think that would be a uh, huge winner for them let's check out some other stuff in here so uh probably my second favorite thing in here so we got a huge mixture of stuff in here um basically ranging from the early 80s all the way uh, up to like the um, Sega Dreamcast days. So uh, my second favorite thing in this box was the, uh, this is Tekken. This is back when they uh, came in the uh, long boxes, the plastic case. It's uh, complete with the manual and the uh, disc. Just a huge Tekken fan. fan. This is uh, another game. I'd actually love to see IRK do a, uh, do a Tekken themed cabinet. How cool would that be? But uh Great memories with Tekken. Just absolutely love this uh, fighting game. It's probably one of my top five uh, fighters of all time. Let's see what else we got in here. Let's uh, go through the rest of these uh, PlayStation 1 games. So this is uh, NFL Game Day. This probably isn't worth much, but um, I remember I bought this um, the day I actually bought a PS1. This is like one of the early games. We got uh, NBA Live 96 with Shaq on the front. And we got uh, Rayman. This is actually a pretty big uh, game for PlayStation. Um, kind of like a, uh, you know, like a side-scrolling kind of platformer type game. Pretty good. I'm not sure what the uh, value of a uh, Rayman in the long box is, but uh, definitely a cool discovery. So here we got another uh, big uh, PlayStation 1 title. This is Final Fantasy VII. Um, see if we got both discs in here. So we got three discs. I forgot this game was uh, three discs, actually. But uh, definitely an awesome game. This is a um, huge heavy hitter for PS1. This is one of those games where you need to invest just a ton of hours um, to play this one. But uh, definitely an all-time classic. Cool game. Awesome to see that after all these years. All right, so here we got a little stack of Sega Dreamcast games I totally forgot I had still. Here we got uh, Crazy Taxi, but however, Crazy Taxi is not in there. Um, we got Gauntlet Legends. Uh, Crazy Taxi was probably one of my favorite Sega Dreamcast games. This is huge in the arcades as well. Definitely a good, good discovery there. I'm going to have to hunt down that uh, Crazy Taxi disc, though. Then we got Sega Rally. Um, I remember this game was pretty good. Still got the disc in there. Man, I just love the uh, Dreamcast back in the day. I think that was probably uh, probably my favorite console, you know, growing up. Sega Marine Fishing. Don't really remember too much about this game, but uh, Always was a fan of those uh, fishing games. And then we got uh, Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. Don't really remember if this game was any good or not. So what else we got here? We have a huge stash of Intellivision games. So I was born in the uh, early 80s. Um, so the Intellivision, I believe, came out, uh, I think, like around 1980. So I was really young when we had these. Um, it's amazing that I still have all this stuff. But uh, here's a good one. PlayStation, Resident Evil 2. I'm going to have to check the value on this one. This is uh, I was always a huge Resident Evil fan. But uh, this is complete with the uh, manual boat discs. 
Definitely an awesome game. This is uh, one of my all-time favorite uh, PS games. What else we got here? Here we got Jumping Jack Flash 2, or Jumping Flash 2 with a huge crack in the case. I do remember this game. I wasn't the biggest fan of that. All right, so we got uh, Spyro the Dragon. I remember this was uh, a real popular game back in the day. Uh, cool to see that. I wonder, uh, I'm gonna have to look up the value on that one. Oh man, now here's a really good one. This is a uh, huge Namco fighter, uh, Soul Blade. Man, I just love this game. Still got the disc in there. Let's check the condition of this one. Oh, that looks pretty good. But uh, man, this was a, such a good uh, good fighting game there. I was always a big fan of these uh, fighters in the 90s. Here we got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Disc isn't there. But actually, I got a second copy. I don't remember buying two of those. Um, here we go. We got the disc in there. Awesome find. This is um, one of the big hits on Dreamcast. Definitely an awesome game. NFL 2K with Randy Moss on the front. Man, I remember these games were so good. I know they're not really worth anything now, but definitely a good game. Here we got NBA 2K2. I used to just buy all these um, NBA 2K, NFL 2K. Every year there's a new one. I always bought it. Here we got uh, my favorite all-time basketball player, Allen Iverson, on those two. Oh, that one's a Dreamcast game. Actually, these are all Dreamcast. See what else we got in here. So, uh, I think the rest is a bunch of Intellivision games. Um, go through them real quick. I know the uh, Miko is coming out. Um, last I heard, it was coming out in October, but we'll see. Um, so, this is probably my favorite uh, Intellivision game of all time, Astro Smash. And I believe this uh, was probably in the top three um, of their uh, all-time sellers. I think Astro Smash was like their Astro Smash was like their big. Uh, that was like their big hit back in the day. Got the uh, controller cards in there. Got the uh, cartridge. Definitely a cool discovery. These uh, games are not these boxes. I kind of. They're not in the greatest shape, but uh, still cool to see. Here we got uh, Donkey Kong for the Intellivision. Still got the uh, tag on there. It looks like I paid $3.99. It was marked down from uh, $9.99 back in the day. Huh. Pretty cool. I remember playing this as a kid. Um, I think I even... This is probably the first time I played Donkey Kong, to be honest with you, even before I played it in the arcade. Uh, huge fan of that one. That's kind of cool. I'm sure it's not really worth much. These television games are pretty cheap. Super Pro Football. We got Thunder Castle. Looks like it was kind of like a maze game. Oh, here's a big one. Night Stalker. I do remember playing this, and I'm going to have to hunt down the uh, cartridge cards for this one. But uh, this, I do remember this one. This is a really good one. Another maze style game. Kind of, this one kind of reminds me of um, Wizard of War, which is a really good game. All right, so here's a heavy hitter. Tron Deadly Discs. Definitely an awesome one there. I remember playing this as a kid. This is what kind of introduced me to uh, Tron. And I know... Uh, Everyone's talking about Tron these days with uh, Arcade 1-Up um, doing a Tron cabinet later this year. But uh, I love this. Uh, Deadly Disc was pretty good. All right, next up, we got Lock and Chase. This was uh, kind of like a Pac-Man style game where you're a, uh, I believe you're like a bank robber and you're running from uh, police collecting uh, treasure and coins and stuff. Still got the uh, controller cards. Um, I actually just recently downloaded this game on the IA Arcade. It's available. I think it was like, uh, how much was it on there? It's probably like 
I think it was seven ninety nine maybe or five ninety nine. But uh, definitely a great game. Um, if you haven't tried Lock and Chase, and you're a fan of like all those old maze games like Pac Man and stuff, definitely give Lock and Chase a try. Really cool game. All right, here we got an old timer. We got a uh, Frogger. This is for the Intellivision. Let's see if we got all the uh, stuff in there. So we got the cartridge. I don't see the, uh, the controller cards, but definitely a great one. Old timer right there. Love seeing that box art. Oh man, here's another one. To good one to follow up Frogger. Here we got uh, Burger Time. Definitely one of my favorite early 80s um, arcade classics. And uh, the from what I remember, the Intellivision version was actually um, one of the best ports of Burger Time. Um, like the arc I was a huge fan of Burger Time in the arcade. And the Intellivision was uh, a really good um, version of it. All right, what else we got here? Tower of Doom. This is just a box. I don't know where uh, the cartridge is. This is kind of like a Dungeons and Dragons type game, a maze style game. I do remember this. This is a lot of fun, actually. Cool game right there. What else we got? Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Box is all smashed up. We got the uh, controller cards. That's a good sign. And the cartridge with the manual yeah this was a good one this is um one of my favorite in television games i do remember playing that what's this game boy so we got um kirby's dreamland star strike don't really remember this game actually space shooter Looks like it's uh, complete with the cartridge. Looks pretty good. All right. Oh, man. Frog Bog. So Frog Bog, this was uh, one of my favorite in television games. I do remember playing this. This is a um, pretty simple game. You're basically like a frog jumping, jumping from uh, one lily pad to another, catching flies as you jump. I'm pretty sure this is uh, one of the most popular games on the Intellivision, actually. Complete with the uh, cards there. That's a pretty cool find. What else we got in here? Poker and Blackjack. Mouse Trap with the destroyed uh, box. I don't really remember that one, to be honest with you. Space Battle, another uh, space shooter. Huh. Don't really remember that one. Boxing. I was a big fan of these uh, television sports games. I remember playing these with my dad um, and my brothers in like the mid 80s. <laughs> Looks like Rock'em Sock'em characters. That's pretty cool. World Cup Soccer. I do remember playing this and that was actually pretty cool back in the day. Oh man, Armor Battle. Look at that. Complete. This is a, like a tank strategy game. Definitely a good. This is a good one, actually. I do remember that. Oh, man. What we got here? Beauty and the Beast. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I have good memories playing that one. Major League Baseball. This was a heavy hitter for the Intellivision um, in the 80s. I think this was uh, in their top three most sold games for their for the Intellivision. Don't have the manual, but I got the cartridge. Oh, the manual is in there, actually, behind there. Got the game cards. Box is a little crunched. Another PlayStation game. I was a big fan of these. Uh, obviously, I was a huge fan of these sports games back in the day. We got... NHL 97. Man, they were so good, these games. We got Game Day 98. I think that's Jerome Bettis on the front.
NHL hockey. Do you remember that? That was a pretty good one. You got football, NFL football. Sea battle. Oh, man. I do remember this one. This is a pretty good one. Complete. Got the uh, game cards there. It was cool how on television incorporated these cards. You would just lay over top the uh, controller. And each game had its separate um, card. That's pretty cool. What's this? Here we got the, uh, I guess this is the Intellivision. Um, this probably came with the system back in the day, just advertising all the games. First game on there is Astro Smash. Yeah, that was like their big game. Night Stalker. Tron Deadly Disc, Tron 2. Lock and Chase. Frog Bog, there we got Frog Bog. Triple Action, holy crap, that was a good game. There's all the sports games. Man, it's pretty cool. I haven't looked at this thing in ages. It's probably been decades. Skiing, I don't remember that one. Boxing, horse racing. All right, here we go. Triple action. This was awesome. This was like three games in one. You had like a tank battle uh, game. There was uh, biplanes. And then you had a, a car game. Oh, man. That was, that was so much fun. That uh, car battle or whatever it was called. The biplane game was pretty good, too. Uh, there's the instruction manual for triple action. Mission X. This is another good one for the Intellivision. This kind of remind me of like 1942, kind of. It was like an overhead uh, shooting game. A vertical shooter. Definitely a sweet game. Master component owner's manual. This is the uh, television instruction book. Say I got a couple of them, three of them. All right, we're getting down to the bottom here. Auto racing with the disc missing. I already got one disc here. Always been, a, I was always a huge Sim City fan. All right, and that uh, completes the uh, box that I just found. I'm probably gonna, I don't know if I'm just gonna hold on to this stuff or maybe sell it on. Um, eBay or something. I know these in television games really aren't worth anything. I'll probably just sell it in you know, a big bundle. But uh, some pretty cool finds. I love that House of the Dead with the uh, gun. It's pretty cool. Um, love seeing Final Fantasy VII. And uh, Tekken was awesome. But uh, thanks, guys, for checking out the video. I just wanted to show you uh, my discovery I made earlier today. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. All right, guys. Thanks for checking out Third Floor Arcade. Please like and subscribe. I have a ton more videos coming. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.